Liam, next up for us is Andorra. We've played out a nil-nil draw with them in our only other fixture last year. What are you expecting from them this time around? Um, for what I've seen from them, uh, they seem to have, have advanced from where they were. I think they're, they're, they've got better on the ball. They seem to uh, want to um, take control of the game. Uh, I didn't play in the on the away game, so I wouldn't know a lot about them. But um, yeah, I'd, I would expect them to be coming here as well, wanting to get a result. As we know, it's these games are, are, are take us up in the ranking if if we can get the results. So I, I expect it to be a good game where they're not just going to sit in. Um, it'd be a bit of a a bit of a battle. So so yeah, it should be good. As a creative midfielder, do you look forward to these types of games where you can expect to have more of the ball? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I always like to get on the ball. Uh, I like to have a lot of the ball um, and try and create. It's it's the way, it's the way I've always played. The way I try and try and take my game. It's I think it's part of the reason I, I'm out on the pitch uh, for creativity and obviously on my dead balls and that. But but yeah, I think it's these sort of games are games where we're we're probably expected to have quite a bit of possession of the ball so so yeah I, I enjoy him because yeah I'm getting getting quite a fair bit on the ball and, and trying to do my game. Touching on this where we have more of the ball, do games like this bring with them a bit of added pressure where you're expected to create something in the final third? Uh, no, I don't think there's there's that extra pressure. I mean, uh, like I say, every game you go out and you still want to do the, the same, you play every game the same, you want to go and win. Um, doesn't matter who you're up against. Uh, but like I say, these games are games where, where, in theory, you should be having a more percentage of of the ball than maybe coming up against teams that are in the top ten in the world. So, so yeah, I think not added pressure, but we do expect to be creating chances and and hopefully getting a few of them in. As you know as well, it's going to be the final match for the men's national team at the Victoria Stadium, as we know it. Talk us through some of your favourite moments. Oh, there's there's a lot on individual side uh probably obviously scoring um in front of the home crowd is always it's always nice but i think highlights have got to be definitely when we when we played Liechtenstein won won the nations league group that was probably the most uh, achievable night even though we've had good results at home but but 100% winning a, a group stage was always going to be probably one of the highlights. You scored a few goals as well at the Victoria Stadium. Is there one in particular that sticks out? Yeah. No, not really. Um, like I said, every goal, it, it's it's nice to score. I haven't, like, obviously, I'm not in big numbers of goals. So, so yeah, obviously, I remember them all easy enough. But I think each goal has been... Probably different. One's been a penalty, obviously. Another one came off for a free kick. Then the other one where TJ obviously put me through and I cut cut on the defender and finished that. That was probably the nicer one with the finish. But like I say, every every goal is always nice to score. So. And lastly, now we're looking ahead to the next campaign in 2023 for the Euros. What do you make of our, of our qualifying group? And are you looking forward <laughs> to coming up against these giants of the game? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be a hard, hard group, but I mean, it's it's what you want to be in. You want to be involved in these big games. So it's going to be good to go out on the pitch against these big teams. But I mean, like I say, we go out, we we'll work hard to to give it our all in in this in the group stage, and it'd be nice if we could scratch some points as well. Uh, but we keep our feet on the ground, keep working hard as we do, and. It'd be nice just to be able to go out and and people from the outside look and say we've gone out and and give the other team a a good game, uh, made it hard for them. And like I say, if we can scratch some points in the group, it'd be nice.